And now we move on to bout number three of the evening. And please join me in welcoming into the red corner, representing the GB top team in London, ladies and gentlemen, it's Yuki Angembe. Definitely need to realize we've definitely Even is mean. <laughs> he is ready for this one. And his opponent this evening in the blue corner, representing the GB MMA team in Southampton. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Emilio Ciota. That was sweet, Caroline. You'll get it at every event. It might not be too loud in there, you know, paper. Be <laughs> we're obviously behind closed doors here. Ladies so and gentlemen, this true. bout will be contested over three three minute rounds of amateur MMA rules in the 67 kilogram division. Over to your referee. But you know what, fantastic Jim here. We got COVID restrictions made us end it a week ago, but Boss Jim, where we are today, have happily put the show on for us. So thank you very much to them. Oh, lovely left jab. I mean, look, see, look, Emilian, you wouldn't think he's an amateur debut, would you, man? Look at those right oh, hands. Beautiful right cross there. He's got to be careful he doesn't spend too much energy throwing those because he is throwing them with heat. Yeah, Yuki's experienced, man. He caught, he's catching oh. him, though. Yuki's getting caught, man. Oh, oh, massive left hand for Emilio. And again, he's got to be careful. He is getting caught coming in, though. Oh, and a beautiful single leg Shot attempt. from a single leg. And lovely Fantastic takedown. Fantastic takedown. So, as we're saying, a zero and zero on top of a six and two. Records are for DJ. That's it, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> you remember, Yuki's going to be in here uh, many times. Brad Pitt taking a little, Cricket taking a little bit of a headbutt there. Not Brad Pitt, he's not here. Brad Pitt. He's going for that gear team. Yeah, he's not in danger. He's, he's not looking in any danger right now, but he's threatening it. Oh, uh, now, now, is. now he's tightened it. No, he's out. But yeah, fair play to Yuki, man. He took this on three days' notice. Yeah, man. Tough guy. I mean, he's withstood some huge bombs so far, and he is still very much in this fight. Like, this fight is not a wrap, and he is fighting for that position. Oh, a beautiful throw wow. for Yuki there. Wow, what a slam by Yuki. And he is in side control now, so hopefully he can slow the fight down, take a bit of time to recover and start working his game. Looking for that knee on belly, going to try and transition to mount. Oh, wow. fantastic sweep there. See, Otto with a fantastic sweep. Bar and he that. worked his way to the back. Oh, my God. Are we sure this guy's debut? <laughs> I think he's been had. Fighting for the wrist control there. Oh wow! They hit each other. Oh, yeah, Yuki's busted open. His nose is bleeding now from Yuki. It's still coming forward, but he's got to be careful because he's leaving his chin way up in the air there. Yuki needs to be working his distance, man. He, he keeps coming fighting in the pocket. He's got the reach on him, you know. He's got the reach, and as we know, he's got the experience, so he knows not to be going in like this. This is Siota's throwing one, two, threes, and he's landing at least one of them. And he's looking yeah. for another takedown there, but Yuki might get him to the fence there. He does there. Trip it again. Siotto is able to get oh. straight out of it. Nice little uppercut on the break there. Oh, went for a spinning <laughs> attack then. I tell you, Yuki throws them like lightning. He's looking for it. Yep. Oh, he gets caught coming in there, and he might be hurt there. I think he's rocked him. No, no, he's still coming forward. I tell you what, what man, the talent. I say we're only probably three fights in, and wow, man, the talent already in this amateurs. I can't wait to see these boys turn pro. Oh. Very telegraph takedown there. But still throwing everything he's got. He's looking for that, that knockout, isn't he? Yuki's starting to back him up a little bit. I think Yuki, I know Yuki's come on three three days notice, but he looks a fresher fighter at the moment, Yuki. Oh, Ooh. big shot from Seattle there. Ooh, that left fucking cross. My, oh, my left bloody cross, sorry for that. <laughs> Glad you did that before I did. Yeah. <laughs> Someone had to, didn't they? <laughs> Oh, oh really catches kick him kick. with a lovely head kick there. So Yuki's got some lovely kicks on him, but the thing is though, Siot keeps timing them kicks. Not that one, but generally he's timing them. Oh, switched up from the top. Siot looks like he's gassing here. He's slowing down. You 
be using his range a lot more in this second round as well. As we said, he's got the reach on him. Kept coming in. He's being a little bit more cautious this round. Perhaps Pickett giving him a bit of advice in the corner there. But he's slowing it down, trying to work those leg kicks. But he's still getting caught. Oh. Another clean left hand there for Ciara. Sound like a baseball bat hitting him. How the hell did he take that? Oh, and again, that right, that left and right is savage. And again, Yuki's got a head of a chin, man. Yuki in on a single leg there, gets him against the cage. You see how he got the over-under. Oh, he's going for a ride. Down he oh, goes. Fantastic takedown by Yuki again. Yuki's second takedown. Close fight, Bobby. The very close fight. This second round, definitely a bit more competitive. I think the aggression is definitely from um, Siota, but for you know control and everything, definitely Yuki. He's holding the fight where he wants it to be right now. You can definitely see the experience in Yuki. He is the one. He is, he is keeping on his range there. He's getting caught every now and again, but he is. He thought about throwing a knee then, but remembered it was amateur. <laughs> <laughs> That was a beautiful kick from Yuki, well timed. Yeah, he's definitely looking the pressure of the two fighters here. Oh, oh yeah, Siotis beautiful leg kick there. Siotis gas, man. And Yuki's able to manage to get the timings on those right hands. He's saying that I he gets clipped with another one there. Siotis is fighting someone a massive level above him. Oh, and oh, and that looked like that might have stung him there. He's definitely wobbly here. His legs wobbly. have gone. He's, he doesn't know where he is, isn't he? But he's still in there, he's still swinging. He's just fighting with everything he's got left now. But it would seem that Yuki's experience is starting to take over a little bit now as he starts to work his game. But hats off to Emelian taking on such a high level. Oh, I don't know. Yuki, see it. Um, see it. Oh. oh, that could be the that fight there. <laughs> is he gonna, is Siotta going to stand up? Is he gonna, no, uh, I, I think, think the ref, that could be the fight there. Is the ref going to call this in a TKO? He got caught with a knee. That is it. That's it's a done. fight over. Experience what wins was that? out again. But how was that him? Was that a knee? Was that a head kick? Which was meant uh, to be? I'd say, yeah. TBO yeah, because the knees are illegal, punches. obviously, in the amateur. But. Ladies and gentlemen, this fantastic bout was brought to a close two minutes and 59 seconds into round number two by way of knockout. Please, for your winner, in the Yuki and me. And please, your runner up in the new corner.